Dr. Inhofe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me real quickly try to get three things in crowded just so I can get your comments. And if there isn't time to do it, we can do this for the record. And this would be for all three of you. Those three things would be workforce development, our freight program, which we have included in the past, and then also the uh, project delivery problem. Starting off with the um, workforce <coughs> development, I'm very proud, and I think you know this, uh, Mr. Lanham, because you have a lot of good uh, members in Oklahoma. You've probably hear, heard me say this before, but uh, we had a governor once named Bartlett. Uh, he and I, when I was in the state senate, we're talking about way back before most of you guys up here were even born, uh, that uh, was back in the 60s, we started that program. We started that for Oklahoma. It's been a leader for a long period of time. And so I've, uh, I've in fact, we've recently extended that one of the problems we have in workforce development, and I want to get the comments on each one of you on, on that issue, is one that is, in, is across the board. When we did the FAA reauthorization bill, I put an amendment on there that had experimental pi uh, pilot programs to develop workforce uh, uh, the uh, uh, development program uh, in the FAA reauthorization bill. Anyone want to comment on the um, on that issue, workforce development? Now you're doing a good job. I know that you guys put forth programs where you can hire people right out of these yes. technical programs, right. and that goes in, that's been very very part effective our, in Oklahoma. And a part of our what we call our OJT pro, on the job training program, where we we all liaison with the technical schools or can work with the vocational training out of the high schools. But yes, sir, uh, works well. We are it's an, it's a major emphasis and focus for AGC of America. We are uh, partnering with Ashto Federal Highways. We have a pilot program trying to go on. We got five states that have signed on that are working with a, a, a test project on how to uh, integrate workforce development. Now, we're battling a lot of cultural stigma with regards to most of our challenges is not with the professional trades or engineers. It's with the, the construction trades, the carpenters, and, and, and that's not a college-bound career. We're offering alternatives to, to young people and well-paying careers, and how do we, how do we reach through that, that bias that, that seems to be out there? Yeah, well, well thank you. And I, uh, is it safe, uh, fair to say that you've had uh, comparable success in other states that you've had in Oklahoma? Because you have had success in Oklahoma. We have. Yes, sir. Well, that's good. Uh, on the uh, issue of the, the uh, freight program that we had, uh, Mr. Brissaris, I noticed you made a comment in your written uh, testimony on an Oklahoma company, an Enid Oklahoma company. And uh, so you're familiar with the problem. Now, when we developed, the, I was chair of this committee back when we did the FAST Act, and we developed a, a program for the first time, a freight program. Uh, any comments to how that seems to be working right now or areas for improvement on that? Yes, thank you, Senator. That program is working very well for the state of Utah. It's, to me, the freight program was a clear recognition by this committee and Congress of the importance that the transportation system serves for freight. When you think about it, the freight is that connection for people. Even if you're not out there using the roadways, you depend on the freight that's being moved by the highway system and the rail system. And so I, f I consider the freight program one of the really good additions that came about, and we're doing projects right now that we could not have gotten to and would not have been able to prioritize but for the freight program. Yeah. So thank you. Well, good. And uh, Mr. Lanham, it was an off-the-record comment that you made in response to something that Senator Barrasso stated, that the, the federal formula program has worked. You know, that's one of the few things in government seems to be working. It does take into consideration of the needs of the various states that are around. They have a lot of input. And when you come up with a formula and you introduce a comprehensive bill and everyone's mad about it at this table over here, you've done a good job. So uh, any other comments on the two subjects that I brought up uh, um, on this? All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Inhofe.